In this video, I'm doing a review of the FM Gammon online store. FM Gammon is a high quality manufacturer of backgammon boards based out of Istanbul, Turkey. Uh, originally started by Fuat Erdog and Meta. Let me see over here about us. Designed by two tournament backgammon players who had a chance to play on almost all any kind of board and playing surfaces over the years. Uh, FM Gammon offers the best backgammon experience. Uh, completely handcrafted frame is hand built from hardwood for elegant strength and graceful aging special sealer synthetic material for the surface for durability stain resistance and unmatched playing characteristics uh, pointed color point colors are printed using an industrial technique to prevent fading out so i'm going to show you they have some really good boards i actually have one of these boards which i will show you um, this is something new a uh, sterling silver 100 percent sterling silver checker set for almost five thousand dollars this is something i wouldn't play with it looks like they have sterling silver cups as well as well as a cube but it's beautiful for display um, their boards are wooden boards um, so they're nice high quality uh, but the playing surfaces are felt um, so they don't have the sound of a wooden board uh, interior. We go through the products here. Uh, they have boards, checkers, accessories, surfaces, and outlets. Um, I'll go through the boards. And these are some of the boards. They have different materials. For example, the Colorado board is one of the newer ones. It's made of walnut, and it's an intermediate price point. The Primal board by Backham and Galaxy um, is a higher price point. It's made of a special wood called Zebrano wood. Um, so that's more expensive. And you can see they have this mag fit technology. This is a unique technology that allows you to replace the surface with another surface. So you can take any of these surfaces and replace the interior surface with a different one that's a different color. Um, and this is again a silver checker set. Um, they have ones that are named after people. So for example, this is the Mark Olson board. It's a beautiful board. Mark Olson um, is the one who runs Backgammon Galaxy, an outstanding player himself based out of Denmark. Um, and here's the Blackhawk board. For example, this one is a lower end board. So if you're looking for an entry level board, this is a nice one. And they have a mini version that's good for travel. They make tables. These are beautiful tables. Um, that you can have in your home or office. And it has a whole board on top of the table. Um, here's, here are some other ones. The walnut board is kind of an intermediate level. Um, and the nature board is a more entry level board. And they have the mini levels, um, Golden Sahara, Yaldi's board, some nice ones. Um, some of these older style ones like the Yaldi's does not have the MagFit technology. Um, and some of these are really nice ones. These are some of my favorite ones. The American Cherry Board, beautiful wood. This is a higher end one. The type of wood is a little bit more expensive. Uh, and then this is another one they named after someone, Alexander Harvey. Uh, the Ali Satin Belen, he's one of the best backgammon players in Turkey. Justin McKenna, he does a lot of unboxing videos of backgammon boards, including some of the FM Gammon boards. This is the premium Talat board. This is the one that I have. I'll show you this one. Uh, the premium comes with some accessories. You can see here, like the bag, uh, scoreboard, and some other accessories. This is a Fatih board, uh, limited edition. The Hero board is very popular. This is the premium one, uh, which includes the additional accessories. Um, and some of these other ones, uh, for example, the Talat one, which has the premium or the regular, um, this is a mahogany board. That's a more dense wood, so it's a heavier board. Um, that's the one I have. Uh, it's harder to travel with long distances because of its weight, but I don't travel long distances, so it's not an issue for me. Um, the beech wood is a little bit lighter, and they have three different versions, the meta, the owner, and the hira. The hira is stained black show you the premium Talat board. Um, this one I've had for over a year. Um, so this is what it looks like. I'll show you some of these pictures. Really beautiful board. Some of the things I like about it is the trays fit uh, the checkers perfectly. And I really like when they go in this orientation as opposed to the other orientation, three rows of five or five rows of three, because for me, it's easier to um, stack the checkers in the trays. You can see the cups fit perfectly in the corners. 
there's a compartment in there and the cube fits in perfectly here. Everything just fits nice and snug. Um, inside the cups, you can fit smaller chouette cubes as well as inside the, the doubling cube, you can open it up and put up to eight dice. I actually put eight dice in there to give it a little bit of weight. Um, this is what it looks like without the checkers. This is opened up. Um, it has some nice high quality hinges. The clasps are double clasped. Here they have something called a biscuit, which holds the frame together. So it prevents it from coming apart. A nice high quality handle, uh, which I like. It makes it easy to carry. This is another angle. The exterior is a beautiful high quality leather. Um, it matches the wood. This is really nice. I like that a lot. These are some of the accessories like the scoreboard, beautiful brown leather scoreboard. Um, this, you can put your dice in here, a little brown wallet. Uh, this one, you can put some chouette sheets. And these are the magnets that are used to replace the uh, surfaces. And these are the accessories. Let me see, this is the video. I wanna see if I can show you this one. It doesn't go full screen, but I wanna show you here, this is, how they replace the surfaces. That's the magnet. That's what you use. And you just lift it. And it can be removed and replaced with another one. All the MagFit technologies, which are patented by FM Gammon, uh, have this feature. This is my favorite thing about the board. You can change the surface. And just like that, it looks like you have a whole new board. Really nice feature. Um, so I should note that the US distributor is called Custom Backgammon. and they have their own website um, and you can go on there. So let's go back and see, these are all of the boards that they have. Nice selection. Going up here, they have a really nice assortment of checkers. We did see those sterling silver ones, which are beautiful, high quality, of course. I don't think I would play with them, but they're beautiful for display. These are some of their newest ones. The steel checkers, uh, more on the high end in terms of the price point, and they are heavier. Let's look at one of them. They have this finger dish interior as opposed to the flat, but they're metal. Um, it does uh, make a noise when it hits the surface, when it hits the frame of the board, um, and that's what you would expect from metal. Um, it does not damage the surface, impact resistant chrome plated, um, and these are one and three quarters inch or 44 and a half millimeter and 12 millimeters thick. If you go back and look, they have all sorts of different colors. So you can customize the surfaces and we'll see that you can pick different checkers. I have many of their checkers, many different sets um, and I like to customize them myself. These ones are very unique. I've never seen these ones in person. These are called the planets checkers, really beautiful, unique patterns. Um, I don't think I've seen any checkers that look like this. And there are all sorts of different colors of these. And then these are the traditional, what are called the finger dish checkers, where there's an indentation in the center uh, to allow your fingers to be placed in them to move the checkers easier, as opposed to the traditional flat top ones. And there are different styles. So this is the pearl style. Um, there's also the premium style, which looks a little bit different. And there's the premium one, and this is the VIP. I believe the ones I have are VIP, but you see how many different colors they have. I have almost all the colors. Um, I really enjoy them. I should note that the yellow and the orange look very similar. Orange is usually uh, somewhere between red and yellow. This orange is much closer to the yellow than the red. Um, so it's not much of a difference. I have them myself, um, but there, are, there is a little bit of a difference. Um, so these are all the different ones and they have marble ones. Um, I don't think they're made out of marble. They just look like a marble and they're sold in uh, sets of 30. So if you have like blue and yellow, you can select this one. This one's red and yellow, purple, black and white ones, red and white ones. And then they have a nice selection of accessories. So they have a bunch of different doubling cubes. The doubling cubes, you can actually change the surface uh, that says 64. They have different colors and these ones fit the dice. Uh, a lot of nice bags. So I have one of these bags and you can actually fit in um, an extra set of checkers. And 
set of cups, double and cube, dice, all in here. So that's a nice accessory you can have uh, if you want to take some extra checkers with you. This is a checker safe box. I have multiple of these because I have many different sets of checkers and it's a nice place where you can store them. These are the notepads and they have other doubling cubes that are um, standard sizes, a little smaller than the ones that you see in the boards, but not quite as small as the Shuet cubes. And they have scoreboards with different colors. These are the standard scoreboards and they have, uh, I believe the leather ones, which are really beautiful here, much higher price point, but this is a brown version and a green version. And going back up here, um, they have some leather wallets, other doubling cubes. Um, these are dice boxes, so you can fit four or six or five dice in here. The leather carrying bag, um, this is what comes with the premium boards, or you can get it separately. This is a beautiful bag. Um, it looks like this one has a different um, closing style than the one that I have, but it's a beautiful leather. Um, it, fits, it fits the board. The board fits inside it very comfortably. And this looks really nice. Um, it's reinforced here, so the straps can hold it tightly. Um, I changed my strap with a different one. That's a little bit easier uh, to go on my shoulder. This is a little bit thin. That's something that's easy to do. But this is really beautiful and it matches. And inside it has some pockets where you can store other things like books or accessories. So those are the accessories and then the surfaces. So as I mentioned earlier, you can change the surfaces. These are all the different standard surfaces that they have available or you can customize them. So you can see all different colors and you can just change them. You can put whatever you like. I have maybe 10 of them. Now you can also customize the surfaces. So you go here, and you can just select whatever colors you want and they'll make it for you. Really nice. And then the other thing didn't look at is the outlet. So here they have an outlet where they have, it's essentially things um, that are on sale, lower prices on some of the boards that are available. So this is a nice place to look at. So that's my review of the FM Gammon uh, online store. Um, in the US, the distributor is called Custom Backgammon, custombackgammon.com. Very similar in terms of ordering, um, just a different website, uh, and they'll ship it to you. Really high quality products, beautiful boards. Uh, some of them are on the heavier side, like the one that I have. Um, so if that's a consideration, you might wanna select one of the lighter ones. They don't have leather boards, but I, I have seen uh, some custom boards made for the Monte Carlo tournament, Las Vegas, as well as Chicago. Um, those look really nice. And I don't have a leather board, but I really like leather boards because they're lightweight, they're nice to play on. Um, there are some really good manufacturers. And the thing that I would really love about these leather boards is the MagFit technology that you could just change the surface and it's like having many different boards. I hope you enjoyed this review of the FM Gammon Backgammon Board online store. Please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you in the next video.